finals. I don't have to go through the gauntlet of whoever's coming at me in losers finals. Right. But he made it through that regardless. Did not have to suffer through a game five in that situation. So, you know, you come into grand finals with a little bit of a weight off your shoulder. He gives us a malformed heart just like mine. <laughs> and Grand Finals is about to kick off. I'm assuming that Mute is going to stick with the Palu. Yeehaw! Dude, grand Finals before 10.30. This feels nice. Whoa. We, what we, timeline are we in? We started uh, starting Shockwave a little earlier, by the way, in case you haven't been keeping up. We're starting at 7 instead of 8, and that seems to be a popular change so far. I hope it is for the chat as well. But it's, it's nice for us, and it's nice for the players, too, because now... You know, you get people playing at 100% of their potential for longer in the tournament. True. Man, speaking of 100%, <laughs> Burr could be touching it a lot quicker than once. He's already halfway there. Uh, same goes for Mutes, though, because, again, you you wither oh, just yeah. a little bit, and then here it comes. Dang, 70. This is this is what makes Kazuya so fun, man. It's it's like watching baseball, where it's just nothing, 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 nothing. Everything happens all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. that was definitely a miss input from Mute for sure. Not that second time though. That was on the money. Yep, right on top of him, and then taken to these platforms, just like we saw at the start of that first set. He says, "Look, I've got the lead." Now you have to come to me, and I'm going to stick to that game plan, whether you like it or not. And, and then that Palu punish, the mm -hmm. <laughs> man. Bring. Yeah, Bring. literally, yeah, like a like an old telephone just ringing in the <laughs> distance. Please, someone answer that. <laughs> he's he's winning big on the slots. <laughs> Whoa, fifty so quickly, <laughs> and I only used one credit. <laughs> and I only used one move. <laughs> Burr selling out to try to get the stock. Should get it with the back air there. No missed spacing. So we are back to even stocks here with Mutes. Obviously having that percent lead, but that doesn't matter much against Kazuya because it doesn't last long. Right. What really matters, I believe, in this matchup between Burr and Mutes, Kazuya Palu, is the stock advantage. Mm -hmm. If you have a stock up, then that person is in a much greater position to take Ugh. the set. Will that do it? Yes, it will. Why did I even ask that question? <laughs> he actually got pulverized. Oh, oh, More? Uh, okay, yeah, too all much, right. Too much rage to make anything big work, so he was looking for Mutes to give him something. I like that option. Nice. Quick get up off the ledge. Saw that Mutes. I think that that was pretended by the, the movement by Mutes, is that he kind of gassed forward to a specific spot oh, in the like ledge. Oh, like that. that. That Well, it sets up for the ledge trump, and I think that Burr recognized that. Ah, uh, okay, you're right. Charging that up just in case Mutes felt like Ooh. giving a stock away. Waited. Yep, he got it. Mute, Burr looked for that at the start of that second stock the exact same way that he was looking to start that combo, and that time he got it to close out the game. Nice. Well, I love to see it. I've, and the, you know, the weakness that we were talking about earlier uh, to Burr specifically did not really get exploited that game. Mm -mm. It kind of just, Burr took a hold of the reins and never let go. Yeah, the reins are blessed. Uh -huh. And yet, and also the buttons. <laughs> the buttons are blessed. The buttons, the if blessed Ka burr buttons. If there are some blessed buttons, Kazuya has them. Ironic, considering that he is a <laughs> devil. <laughs> Literally. Literally a devil. He should be cursed. Three, two, Cursed controls? Big shout outs to Mudeis for having good taste in music. He will, he will pick the tech in music and he will pick the good songs. And I just have to appreciate him for that. Because there are some people that in intend to inflict psychic damage on you when they pick their music. Right. But now, Mute's definitely going to inflict a little bit of psychic and physical damage to Burr the way that this game starts out. Battlefield, phenomenal Palu stage. You will basically always have control of the match when you're here on Battlefield. A lot of platforms to mess around, especially with the warp cancel. We might see that come into play, knowing mm -hmm. Mute definitely use all the uh, tools to their advantage. The up throw has been seeing some usage as well, instead of really going for stage control. Very strange whiff there. Mm -hmm. I think that Burr was looking for Mute to maybe mash a button out of that jab jab scenario, because mm -hmm. last time, Mute Ace just gave him the defensive option, and he just kind of had faith that, right, he's the kind of guy that after he makes a mistake, he'll make an immediate adaption. He doesn't usually go for the right, mix right. But stock taken there by Burr, he does get to take the lead. You know, in game two where he's already got the 1-0 set lead as well. 
the situations like this against a guy like me, tough to come by and drifting in to make sure that he does not get sent out by that counter and it fizzles out. And I like these uh these oh. small pieces of, of cutesy damage that uh Burr keeps finding that nair from the ledge earlier, but Mute Ace has caught up. Oh, and is receiving some peppering from these normals, <laughs> although does not seem to care about it as they start oh. getting hit for their combo and dying for it. What? what? Disco what percent was he at? Like 70, 60 at the before the up smash? I, I swear I knew before Burr started hitting him, but then I think my brain blocked it out because I didn't want to accept it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I play Incineroar and that was not okay. It, it was it was like 67 or 78, man. I don't know. It but, was early. But stock gone. Stock gone. Could be soon for Burr as well. Mute. Just such a prolific ledge trapper, particularly with this character. I mean, they're just it's it's lather rinse repeat with Palu a lot mm -hmm. of the time at the ledge, and now catching that jump away saw it a lot. And Burr, he scratches his head. He says, "Right, okay." So he's he scouted that out. I need a new way out of disadvantage mm -hmm. next time. I like that when Mute is uh, a stock down, they are very good at avoiding or straight up just like counterattacking the, the many Hell's Gates that Burr likes to try and get happening. <laughs> he actually just skated up and smacked them. <laughs> the way that looked was so funny. He, he, just <laughs> he, turned, he turned him inside out, dude. <laughs> he came up, folded and put him in the laundry. <laughs> just came. <laughs> yeah, just start shaking it out. <laughs> Come on, yeah. still too wet. <laughs> wow, too well lead for Burr, and it's been. Uh, he's had some pretty flashy kills, to yeah, say the least. Yeah, actually, I. I mean, even the prior set had a couple of flashy kills. It's just now the the set count is uh, in his favor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. There's that unsafe Palu area landing. We talked about it in Winners. Oh, good he patience. Just That's what I'm talking about, man. When Burr starts getting patient and he lets Mudeace push those buttons at a disadvantage, you're going to find that you're going to be given those openings a lot of the time. Parry. Good parry, but I think maybe either a miss input or looking for Mute to panic afterwards. I, I feel like that's definitely one of those situations where the parry kind of messes up what you buffer, and then right. you, especially where Kazuya has 90 different tilts. True. It, you probably meant to do like a turnaround, you know, something. Down tilt or whatever. Yeah, yeah. A turnaround, electric meat fist win. <laughs> the meat fist. The meat fist. The electric <laughs> meat fist. Uh. Okay, Mute's not gonna challenge or chase. They are completely mm. content having the stage to themselves and playing that good old nooch. Burr with the low recovery, caught Mute Ace a little bit too early back on stage, couldn't set up his pressure. Not on Battlefield. I don't know why I was scared. That really wasn't even that close. <laughs> oh, the hell's That one, again? though, wow. Wow. I, I guess that, does that not stale when you have Rage Drive? It doesn't stale the other one, because? I don't think so. No, I, I, straight up, that move is just OD. <laughs> it's it's crazy. right. So I, I believe even after using it, Literally, as the last move, it would still kill. Mm -hmm. Little forward air to get Mute right back into the corner where Burr's made a whole lot of his coin. And there's that. Mm. Sealing out the stock, evening it up. I, I feel like the place where Mute Ace has done best in this set is air to airing Burr. Yes. Whenever Burr goes into the air, he gets a big punish on him. But on the ground, I mean, it's been the Kazuya show. For sure. As it should be. Right, because those are where the buttons for Kazuya do exist. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, ah. he's going for it! Bye! He actually got it. Send me postcard from hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> uh? Set up. Yes, no yes, jabbies. <laughs> oh my, yo, Burr is kind of sick right now. <laughs> he really went for the Falcon Punch. <laughs> Ooh, oh, stall yeah, and yeah. the fast fall. He he actually almost got a full combo off of that. Right, yeah. And what's the worst thing about these situations for Mute Ace is not the fact that he's missing the edge guards or like these potential situations, mm. but that he's getting damage done back to him as Burr is recovering. Yeah. 
and obviously giving him that ledge trap afterwards is so bad, but he, especially playing from behind. It's hard enough to play from behind as Palu anyways. She's not really a comeback character. Unless your neutral is just absolutely insanely godlike, which Mutes is. And that, but that's not on the character. You right, know, that's... but that's not the strength of the character, right? Yeah. That's, it's, it's down to you playing well. He's going to go down with the counter. Burst. It could Should do it this time. Dodge. Yep. Oh, okay, very nicely timed. That's a, a, the impatience right now is actually coming from Mutes more than it is from Burrs. He does get the yeet. <laughs> the relocation. <laughs> the relocator. Oh, and now it's last stock. And again, Palu, you play well enough you can make this comeback. But you at this point, you need to be perfect. It is very possible. <laughs> Unless, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless he does that one <laughs> tilt, he he literally just fell over on him. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 3 0 for Bird. Yo, a 3 0 reset. And we were like, oh no, game five. Oh no, mute. Oh, well, I'm mostly me. I was saying that. Yeah. But I am pleasantly surprised. I am very and happy. And honestly, to see that. I'm now even more intrigued in what the reset is going to look like. Yeah. I mean,. Obviously, Mute has the option to change characters, but aside from that, is there going to be a change in game plan? Is there going to be an adjustment? Because it does feel like, I don't know, it feels like Mute was definitely much more comfortable to try and play up close against Kazuya mm. and see maybe, you know, given that he had an extra set to play with, say, okay, well,